This is the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, technology you want, yield you can count on. Hi, I'm Steve Redman, Certified Crop Advisor. We're in the field today demonstrating one of the latest innovations for agriculture, especially for crop scouting. So what I'm holding is one of the newest uh, UAVs. It's a Canadian-made company. It's called Arion out of Waterloo, Ontario. This is their, uh, their UAV. There's other manufacturers of UAVs. Uh, we're quite excited about this. This is actually called a quadcopter as well. So we have the four... Uh, four propellers which gives us a lot more stability in the air under higher winds. We've just been actually equipped this week with a, uh, a new camera called the TetraCam. This is the camera that's going to allow us to do NDVI images. So it has a NIR filter in it which allows us to do a vegetative index of a field. Uh, for example, this cornfield uh, behind me, um, this year is a fairly wet year in this year. We have uh, tile drains that are working and then um, but we're seeing areas between the tile drains that are quite wet. So when we fly uh, the UAV over the cornfield with this NIR camera, we'll be able to see those tile drain lines uh, and the impact that that poor drainage uh, is having on the corn crop. And across the road, we actually have a wheat field that will fly as well, where the farmer is hoping to, um, to split the 60-foot tile drains that were put in in the 70s and put a, a, a tile drain. So most of the UAVs, including this one, has a, a GPS receiver inside the equipment and um, it actually picks up. So all the pictures it takes uh, are geo-referenced and that's what we, uh, if we're going to create management zones for a farmer or split these tile drains, we need a very accurate geo-referenced picture. So that's one of the, uh, the newest, latest innovations in, in agriculture. Uh, there's all kinds of uses for this. Every time I talk to a farmer, uh, we get a new idea of how we might be able to use this. They're being used by engineering companies to do inspections, uh, but in agriculture, uh, this is a new frontier and, and we're continuing to learn new applications for this technology. We'll briefly explain how the technology works. So Danny Jeffries is with me uh, showing uh, the tablet. So the Arion system comes with a tablet computer uh, and then on my left is the base station so this gives us a lot more range so I just got the base on a tripod it's got an antenna so the tablet that Danny's holding communicates with the base the base communicates with the flyer so I can be up to uh, 200 meters above a farm field and the base will communicate give signals to the um, to the flyer about what uh, what path we, we've chosen on the field so it's uh, very high-tech uh, we've got modems and Wi-Fi happening but uh, this range actually is Three kilometers, so the uh, the base station could control the uh, the flyer up to three kilometers. Most fields are uh, 800 meters or a thousand meters long, so we don't need that that kind of a range. But it just gives you an idea of the technology and and the capabilities when uh, the GPS uh, can control through. Um, lithium-ion batteries, uh, the flyer up to three kilometers range. This has been the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, great seed, great people. Harvest the difference with Mazex.